will go in jail. Provided they tested negative 72 hours before arrival in Uganda and provided the tour operators ensure that the tourists do not mix with Ugandans. How will this be done? The tourists will be driven straight from the airport to their destinations or to designated transit hotels that are set aside for that purpose. Business delegations should also be handled in the same way by local partners. The returning Ugandans who have got negative PCR results, PCR are the tests, will be allowed to go home, not stay in the quarantine, but you go to your home and the Minister of Health will only get their addresses for follow-up. Number three, restriction, restrictions on the movements on the border districts are hereby lifted. Number four, curfew from 9 p.m. to, th to 6 a.m., which has been in, 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 in force, will be maintained. But for the border, for the border borders, their movements must always end at, at uh, 1800 hours, which is 6 p.m. Number five, the places of worship should open with the following precautions. Individual prayers or confessions with priests or counseling with the necessary SOPs. Those are all right. When somebody is coming to confess his sins, uh, to, to the priest there are few of them they, they can th that one is, can, may not be a problem prayers and fellowships whose numbers do not exceed 70 and, uh, and by observing all the other SOPs we think these ones are, are safe Night prayers, and, uh, night prayers and trans nights are, however, not allowed. Night prayers and trans nights, we don't allow those. The regular large gatherings of prayers and preachings of Sundays and Fridays will be considered at a later stage, depending on how the disease will be evolving. But the rule of the number of 70 and not more can be used on Fridays and Sundays. So that, that, that rule of, of not more than 70 can actually be used on a number of days. You can have some on Monday, another group on Tuesday, and Friday, as long as the numbers are 70-70. E, there should be no Sunday school for children. Let the enemy first go away before the children are involved in this congregating. They say the when you call it. Six open air activities of sports will reopen provided there are no spectators. We must uh, learn to have uh, games without spectators, without uh, uh, our tourism, uh, our tourists. We shall watch on TV. Uh, the teams can play. We watch from far, and the players provide. The players are tested for COVID-19 72 hours before. This test will expire in 14 days. So every 14 days they must test the players. Hence the sportsmen will have to repeat the test. Sportsmen and women should remember that masks should not be worn when you are engaged in strenuous exercises. Yeah. 
B, with tournaments, teams should be quarantined for the whole season of the competition. C, indoor sports activities, including gyms, remain closed. Those indoor things are very dangerous because that's where the virus spreads. Why do we say those should remain closed? It is because the virus spreads more in enclosed spaces. Number seven, casinos, gaming centers, and cinemas remain closed. Why? It is because those activities are in enclosed spaces and are not compatible with social distancing. Eight, bars shall remain closed. Why? It is because bars, apart from many of them being in enclosed spaces, which phenomenon favor the rapid spread of the virus, are not known for sobriety. And lack of sobriety is not compatible with health, with health safety through the observance of the health SOPs. Abata Mivu, Tewasovola, Ukwefuga, Tewasovola Kwekuma. That's why really bars, bars, I, I, I know many Ugandans like bars, but you, you can get drunk at home. Just order your, your beer and uh, you get drunk at home, you sleep in your, in your sitting room. It's not good, but at least there's no, uh, assuming that there's nobody with COVID in your house, you can, you can, you can get drunk without COVID. So the, the, I, I don't see really why people should spend so much time quarreling. Because beer is not stopped. You, you buy and take, take home. Mm. Drink there. Mm. Number nine, hotels will continue operating following the SOPs agreed with the Minister of Health. We had already addressed those before. Ten, restaurants should continue to emphasize the takeaways Indoor restaurant services should be minimized and follow the SOPs. Mobile markets, monthly cattle auction and produce markets should remain closed as the Minister of Health continues to develop the SOPs. Mass gatherings are, are still prohibited. Some people have been trying to use the recent NRM elections to justify their own misbehaviors. Lining behind candidates is not the same as holding public meetings. Lining behind candidates would have been done scientifically. If our people were, 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 were mindful, they could have done it. Because you can line, you can line uh, scientifically, because it is, you just line for a limited time and go away. Um, if the organizers had been serious. But with public meetings, there's, there's no way you can observe social distancing. If you're having a rally, how are you going to organize social distancing? A rally? How? Uh, especially in the rural areas with the small football pitches, small open spaces, where would you do social distancing? Our, our Bama Saba grandchildren that are engaged in Imbalu in this month, Imbalu is a circumcision, have SOPs from the Ministry of Health that were agreed with the cultural institution. But I hear that these SOPs are not being followed. That's what I hear. There should be no processions dancing Kadodi. Because those processions 
are the ones which result into, into crowding. That is, that is dangerous congregating. The security forces, especially the police, should monitor those activities. Cases of COVID-19 have gone up in Mbari recently. There are now 107 cases reported in Mbari and five deaths have occurred in that area. Ugandans, you have now tested both scenarios. Scenario number one was strict lockdown. We started with until the 4th of May 2020. During that time, the infection was low and there were no, death, no deaths. When we effected the interim relaxation measures, the infections expanded and the death increased. <coughs> 